A Canadian researcher in China's Guizhou says he's willing to build a bridge between traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine. Yaakov Ben David works as a foreign expert in a key chemistry lab in Guizhou. Before he came here, Yaakov was a professor of anti-tumor pharmacology at the University of Toronto in Canada, where he and his team first discovered major oncogene Fly1, which causes leukemia. After a visit to China in 2012, Yaakov was attracted by TCM, and moved to China a year later to conduct the research on anti-tumor compounds of TCM. Yeah, I was born in Iran, but uh, I educated, uh, I did my master PhD, uh, well, most of education in Israel, uh, and then uh, later I went to Canada to do my postdoc, and I stayed as a professor there. My postdoc invited me here, and we, I was, came here familiar, and start working, and I really liked the environment. So I thought actually this is a good place to work. Uh, at present, we mostly working in a targeting very, very specific gene, cancer gene. We call it Fly1. And we have a few drugs now developed against the Fly1 that we're testing them to see whether it's good for uh, treatment of uh, leukemia and maybe other cancers. Oh, the, this, it has been used for so many years, for 5,000 years. And there is a basic, there is a, must be a reason everybody's using it. So that's why I'm here. I want to try to make a bridge between Chinese medicine and Western medicine. So for that, we have to find out what is the biological active compass. So we're hoping that actually through this study, we have eventually found a good uh, combination of the therapy for certain type of cancer that we're working, especially leukemia and breast cancer, and maybe also work with other cancers. The grizzle is growing at the speed of light, as I just said, 10, 10, 11 years ago, 10, 9 years ago, comparing to this now, it's dramatic changes in terms of the, the, in terms of the you know, infrastructures, the life, the quality of life, and everything. Everything is advanced very well.